That's okay, honey. I don't have a favorite one. I'll get a new one on this trip. Oh, I gotta go. Um, listen, tell your mom that I'll call her when I get back. And don't forget the mail. And don't forget to water the plants. Yeah, I know. And lock up when you leave. And you, you be a good boy, okay? Bye-bye. Checking in with us, ma'am. Yes, I will. Be. I hope you'll enjoy your stay here at the Wessex. Thank you. Is this your first time at the Wessex? I'm here to write an article on the hotel. Staying with us four nights, that right, Mrs. Beecher? Yes, but I might stay a little longer. Would that be all right? Oh, of course. We'll be happy to accommodate you any way we can. Uh, will Mr. Beecher be joining you? Oh, wish he could. He'd love this place. Passed away two years ago, you know. Oh, sorry to hear that. Free as a bird now. This trip is a present to myself. Oh, we hardly ever do nice things for ourselves, do we? You're so right, Mrs. Beecher. Stuck down on that farm and silo for 38 years. Decided it was high time to kick up my heels. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Excuse me. I couldn't help overhearing. Are you from Silo, Minnesota? Uh, yes. Do you know the Lakeview House? Oh, the little hotel down on the Deerfield Road. Where they make those wonderful pies. My goodness. How do you know about it? I did an article. My name is Elaine Callisher. I work for the Traveler's Review. Oh, how nice. Moselle Beecher. That's a beautiful crystal. It came from Sedona. Oh, I'll bet you're here for the convention. What convention? Crystals. No, I, I don't know anything about it. 
Oh, I'm surprised. It's the biggest one in the country. You know, it would make a wonderful article for your magazine. Maybe it would. Here you are, Miss Beecher. The key to 871. And your room is ready. Right this way, ma'am. Hello. I'm Elaine Callisher. Oh, yes, Miss Callisher. We've been expecting you. Miss Callisher, you're all set. Is there anything else I can do for you? What is that? Ma'am? That music. What music? Hmm, it's gone now. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Come on in. Miss Callisher? Yeah? I'm Judith Teller, the concierge. Oh, yes, we spoke on the phone. I can't tell you how happy we are that you're here. Thank you. You didn't have to give me a whole suite, though. Well, of course we did. We want to impress you. We want a good write-up. Now, listen, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you just give me a call, and I'll take care of it personally. The trouble with life is you just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The way I look at it is if you did, you might save yourself a lot of grief. Oh, I can't argue with that. <laughs> and you think Crystal's help? Oh, wouldn't be here if I didn't. They have properties, you know. Oh, what kind? Well, I had lost my reading glasses, and then right after I got my first crystal, I had a dream. I saw them right behind the pillow on the sofa. Next morning, I got up and looked. And there they were. No, <laughs> but I'll tell you what did happen. <laughs> Betty James, she's my travel agent, when she called with four hotels for this visit, and when she said Wessex, something told me that was the one. And is it? Well, sure. Can't you feel it? Feel what? A vibration, a kind of aura. No, I, I don't think I do. Oh, you do. You just don't understand. Now, you go over to the convention tomorrow. They'll open your eyes to lots of things. Sounds like fun. I mean, I'll go if you'll go with me. Okay, we'll meet for breakfast. How does that sound? Great. And then we'll go over together? Great. Look okay. forward to it. No, I was a flight attendant. They put us up here one night, and I just fell in love with the place. I was tired of flying anyway. So I applied for a job. I'm kind of tired of living out of a suitcase myself. Well, for the next couple of days, you can just relax. By the way, how do you work? If it's all right, I like to just wander around and kind of discover things. If there's anything I miss, you can fill me in later. Sure, whatever you want. Hotel's all yours. Supposed to be a horse? Looks more like Lassie. Maybe if you flare the nostrils or something. This is ice, Letty. What do you think I am, Michelangelo? Never crossed my mind. This is beautiful. You really do lovely work. Yeah, I know. Listen, sweetie, guests aren't supposed to be back here. I didn't think it would be a problem. Judith Teller said it would be all right. Oh, well, if Judith said it would be all right. What's all this for? Reception in the ballroom tonight. I'd like to take a look. Be my guest. Top floor. Elevator's right over there. Thank you.
help me. For God's sakes, please help me. you are? Are you all right, Miss Callisher? Give her a minute, will you? Miss Callisher, I'm Dr. Lanyer. Do you remember what happened? My God. They killed him. What? What do you mean? A man was murdered. What man? Who? I don't know. Where, Miss Callisher? Where did you see this? On the elevator. On the elevator? Yes. But... No. Easy. You took a pretty good rap. It happened when I hit the floor. The elevator got stuck and I could I couldn't get out. But I could I could see the floor just above me. And that's where it happened. What floor was it, Elaine? I don't I don't know. No, I do. I do. I know it was it's the floor with the gaslight. Gaslight? What are you talking about? What gaslight? What, what does she mean? Why don't you just listen? Are you sure it was a gaslight? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. There, there was a bust on a little table and a rug, an oriental rug. There's nothing like that anywhere in this hotel. Of course there is. Did you see all this before or after you hit your head? After. Okay, well then, you know when they found you, you were unconscious. Isn't it possible you imagined this whole thing? No. No, I... I looked right at that man's face. I didn't imagine it. Elaine, I know exactly how you feel. I used to have a nightmare about a man climbing in my window. It was so real to me, I would just scream. My roommate would have to come in and shake me out of it. You didn't think he was really there. Are you kidding? I could smell his breath. Is that the way it was? Yes. But Judith, yours was a dream. And mine... I... I don't know. It... It, it seems so real. Good morning. Oh, hi. How are you feeling? Much better, thank you. I am. Uh, I still have a little twinge. Oh, don't worry about that. That'll be gone by tomorrow. Are you, uh, waiting for somebody? Actually, I was, but, um, I guess she forgot. Do you mind if I join you? No, not at all. Sit down. <laughs> Doctor, would you, uh, care for something else? No, thank you. This coffee will be just fine. I have to tell you something. This is funny. Uh, do you know Rogus, the manager? The nervous guy. You thought you were shook up yesterday. Well, after you left, I had to give him two Valium. He's terrified you're going to sue the hotel. I can't say it didn't cross my mind. You still don't mean you believe that. No, not really. I have to tell you, though, Doctor, at the time, it seemed so real. Alan. Excuse me? Alan, it's doctor at the office. Oh, so this isn't just round. Well, no, no, not exactly, but I was planning on following up. Are you the regular hotel doctor, or did they just call you in? Well, kind of both. My practice is over on 32nd Street, but I have a small office here to service the hotel. Interesting. Why? Because I'm writing about it. So, why does one become the hotel doctor? Well, I just sort of fell into it. Um, the other doctor retired, and they started calling me. And, uh, how long are you going to be here? Not long. Just until I get the piece written. Is all your time taken? No. How would you like to have dinner with me tonight? I've got a wonderful 50-year-old bottle of formaldehyde in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wonderful. You're on. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please come again. Well, it's 
you wish a cab, ma'am? No, thank you. Can you tell me where the Crystal Convention is? Oh, yes, I can. It's a convention hall. That's over on Pearl Street. That would be three blocks down and one block over. You can't miss it. Thank you. I saw it. What? The boot. What boot? The one on the elevator. I don't understand. You never said anything about a boot. I forgot. Everything was happening so fast. It doesn't matter, Mr. Rogas. She remembers now. When she got on the elevator, there was a boot. And don't you see? If I didn't imagine the boot, I didn't imagine the murder. Miss Kalisher, I was there when they took you off the elevator. There was no boot. I can't help that. If I hadn't seen it on the elevator, I wouldn't have recognized it on the street, would I? Well, that would seem to make sense. Mr. Rogos, maybe it's time to consider calling the police. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should. Well? I don't understand. This isn't it either. It's not what I saw. Mm hmm. Okay. Take it down. They're a toy store around here. You're not that I know of. No, I thought it. Branson's birthday tonight. Hey, Sarge, where's 13? There isn't one. Weird. Most hotels don't have a 13th floor. It's a superstition. Oh! All through here, Frank. Sergeant, I'm really sorry we had to drag you down here. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of here, guys. Now, Miss Callister, does this ease your mind? I don't know. I, I'm still very confused. Well, is there anything else that I can do? No. No, I guess not. I'm sorry to put you all through this. Just a minute. Alan. Hi. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I forgot all about dinner. Oh, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You won't believe what happened today. I heard the police were here. I came off looking like such a bimbo. 
No gaslight, huh? No. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You, you had a pretty good knock yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised at anything you saw. What is this? A half a sandwich? Piece of pie? Cold coffee? You call this dinner? I've ruined your evening, haven't I? Of course not. We'll have some bubbly. <laughs> and then we'll have the best dinner in town. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mrs. Beecher. Uh, sorry, wrong room. Excuse me. Has Mrs. Beecher changed rooms? No, she's checked out. But the convention just started today. It's really lovely. I've never seen one outside of London. Well, we do get most of our things from England. You have a beautiful shop. Would you mind if I had some pictures taken? No, not at all. Miss Callisher? Sugar. I got what you need. I'll get what you need. What you need? Excuse me. Maybe you can help me. You tell your mom I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Yes. What is it? I'm looking for somebody. I don't know his name, but I know he must have been by. Well, I know most of these people. Oh, what does he look like? He wears boots. Um, boots with silver toes. Oh, yeah. He was down here showing him off yesterday. Well, who is he? I mean, do you know his name? Peddler. Peddler. Well, that's what they call him on the street. He sells things, trades, you know, mostly for a drink. Do you know where I could find him? Yes. But if I were you, I wouldn't go down there.
Anybody here? Hello? doing in here? Answer me! Don't I know you? You're a cop. No. Wait a minute. I do know you, yeah. Yeah, you're the one that chased me. You are a cop. No, really, I'm... Then what you doing to my goods? What you looking for? Those. Why? Where'd you get them? I didn't steal them, if that's what you want to know. No, I don't care, really. I just want to know where you got them. You came all the way down here to ask me that? What do you take me for? I don't know what you're after. But you better take your lily whites out of here before I bounce this off here. Come on. Get out of here! the look on this man's face. He looked like he could have killed me. Killed me! Yeah, please, slow down. Uh, let me catch up with you here, okay? It was all there. The clothes, the shoes, the suitcases. What are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to find the Wallenstein file. It's not in there. Miss Kalisher, did he touch you? Did he physically do anything? No. What's that got to do with it? Well, because then I have something to work with. What have I been doing for the last ten minutes? Yeah, but you haven't... Now what? I thought it might be here. What? But why...